I never thought my life would turn out to be anything but normal. Until the day I received a very curious letter. Before that day, my life was like anyone else's. That's not to say life was boring. But strange things often seemed to happen when I was alone. When I told my parents, they laughed and said I must be seeing things. It's all right if they don't believe me, but I know what I saw. And then the letter arrived, and everything changed forever. What was that? Hello? No! Calipin Corgans! What a small room! Who are you? Rubius Hagrid, at your service. Don't be nervous. I'm only here to deliver this. Oh. Ah, this is for you. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry? That's right. You're gonna study magic. The very next day, we went to Diagon Alley to get what I needed for classes. Hagrid said he doesn't escort every first-year student, but because I'm muggle-born, he thought I'd need the help. We traveled all the way on Hagrid's flying motorbike. Hmm. Looks like I drove a little too fast for you. And the experience was unforgettable. Oh, uh, good. Let's have a look at your list, then. Is anybody there? Ah. Ah, another young wizard. There is something familiar about you. Let me think. Mm, this wand may be suitable for you. Well, give it a wave. <laughs> Apparently not. Come, try out this wand. <laughs> oh my, curious. 
very curious. Bought your wand and clothes? Come on, I've got a gift for you. A gift for me? Right you are, young'un. I want to get you an owl. Children love owls. They can deliver letters and parcels for you. For the journey home, Hagrid had quite a bit of trouble starting the motorbike, so we use Mogul transportation instead. I think Hagrid quite enjoyed riding the tube, even if he was a bit cramped. See you at Hogwarts! After that, the holiday flew by until finally it was time to start school. Platform 9, Platform 10, where is it? Platform 9 and 3 quarters? That can't be right. Could it be a misprint? I hope I don't miss the train. Let me guess. You're looking for Platform 9 and 3 quarters? Yes. Do you know where it is? I do, in fact. Just run straight ahead at the barrier between Platforms 9 and 10. Go ahead. Close your eyes if you're nervous. Don't be scared. You'll be fine. It worked! I boarded the train just before it was due to leave and found a seat. Soon, the scenery outside the window began to speed past, and I finally started to relax. It was amazing, like nothing I'd ever seen. There was singing, floating candles, a ceiling that looked just like the night sky, and ghosts. Finally, Headmistress McGonagall spoke to everyone. Welcome to Hogwarts. Before we begin, I've been advised by Mr. Filch that a rather grumpy ghoul has taken up residence in an empty classroom on the third floor. Best to steer clear until further notice. When I first became headmistress, barely four months had passed since the Battle of Hogwarts. Since Lord Voldemort and his followers were defeated, thanks to the combined efforts of many heroic witches and wizards, forest dwellers and house elves, and students, much like yourselves. Hopefully, none of you will ever face such evil. But should challenges arise, know that together you are capable of much more than you might think. Now, to those feeling overwhelmed by the occasion, remember that even Harry Potter once stood where you do. Looking every bit as nervous, I might add. <laughs> I know you're all starving, but first we must see to the sorting of our newest students into their houses. This is very important, as your house will be akin to your family while you are at Hogwarts. They will share your triumphs and your failures. Is everyone ready? Yes? All right, form a line. 
After that, the sorting began proper. One by one, students were sorted into their houses. And then, it was my turn. Trustworthy, loyal, and modest. All there, I see. And just a hint of tenacity. Excellent. Hufflepuff! Robin Thistlethwaite. Gryffindor. Lottie yeah. Turner. Come on. Hufflepuff. Ivy Warrington. Ivy? Does anyone know what happened to Ivy? Am I to understand that no one has seen Miss Warrington? Sorry, Ed Mistress. <laughs> it seems we missed one. Got distracted by those lovely bushes just outside the castle and got herself lost. Thank you, Professor Hagrid. Late for the sorting ceremony? Highly unusual, Miss Warrington. I do hope you're not one of those students who persistently finds herself in problematic predicaments. Hufflepuff! Now, the sorting ceremony is complete. Once again, welcome to Hogwarts. Enjoy the feast, everybody, and get a good night's rest. Your first lessons will begin very soon. <laughs> 